I thought the pedestrianisation of Castle Street was really good actually. Um, I like the fact that they added a bike lane. It made me feel a lot safer cycling through town. And it made a really nice space to sit and chat if you wanted to in the middle. So yeah, I thought it was really good. Having a dedicated cycle lane across Cardiff, uh, both personally is a good thing, but from a business perspective, it's been great as well. And we've certainly seen more people come in on the bike than actually before. Um, and making a dedicated trip in on the cycle just to actually pick a game up. So from that perspective, that's really good. Uh, from a road closure point of view, there are trials and tribulations, and I think Verdict is actually out. I don't know, I honestly generally don't know whether it's a positive or a negative thing for business in Castle Arcade and my business. And that's the biggest bugbear amongst lo local traders, is there wasn't a consultation about how it would have an impact. The strength of feeling we've seen to this, and to be honest, still continue to see a little bit on you know, social media and our conversations with visitors, it does really demonstrate how people feel like they want to be taken along on the journey and I think that particularly is really important even if the changes that happen aren't the changes that you know X business or Y resident would like to see happen themselves I think if they'd had an opportunity to be involved in the conversation then they're more likely to be able to go along with it and I think if people are more engaged at that level, then they're also potentially more likely to change their opinion perhaps over time. These things often are as emotional as they are data-driven, I think. Because we're at a point where obviously short term something had to happen, this is sort of the sensible catalyst to talk about the, the long-term future of the space, um, whatever that ends up being. Long term, I think it's the way to go of actually not having a road past your main tourist attraction through the middle of the city. What happened on Wellfield Road has affected businesses in different ways. Um, and for us food businesses, uh, it has had a very, very, very positive impact uh, on our survival during this time. It has been crucial for us to keep, to stay in business. So having this space outside has increased, first of all, um, our uh, customer um, range as well and more and more people are noticing us because we have the tables outside um, and also because it's just a way of people to, to socially distance and still be part of our community and, and help us and support us. But I know that other businesses have suffered because of parking restrictions. Football is definitely down. A lot of our customers are perhaps elderly customers or people that need to travel in from further out and use their vehicles obviously. Park outside and pop in, especially at this time with COVID. People don't want to be hanging around. They kind of have a purpose, so they can do what they need to do and go. Obviously with no parking, um, that's not happening. I definitely think there is a compromise and we have been in meetings and liaising with the council. The unfortunate, the unfortunate point is that this was all put in place during lockdown without any liaison with us. I think the general consensus of the street is that no one is against improving the environment or coming up with different ways, you know, to improve things for the, you know, for the road. But it would have been nicer to have a discussion first. I think even for residents, when the changes first started happening, uh, everybody was quite upset. Uh, but I think the more and more time passed, I've seen in, in groups on Facebook and on, uh, on other social media platforms, um, the conversation kind of started being going into a more positive light and more and more people were on board with, uh, with having this outdoor space because of the atmosphere that it creates. Communication is important, but also focusing on really important things that will make an impact on the city and the environment as well, which is infrastructure. My dream for Wellfield Road would be to be a traffic-free road. Um, I think it would be uh, an amazing street. Uh -huh.